Hi, this is Info Puppet, and today we're gonna learn about the glowing light background effect. It is so cool! You're gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This will work fine in PE 10 and PE 12. This is the image that we're working on today. All right, we're going to the toolbar and selecting the eraser tool and changing it to the magic eraser tool. I have the tolerance at eight. I'm gonna left click and release. Got rid of most, most of the background. And now I'm just going to click on the layer. I'm going to command click for Mac or control click for PC. And look, the marching ants are around the image. That's what I want. So now I'm going to go to select refine edge. Okay. Now when you open up your refine edge, you're probably going to have the marching ants like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the smart radius and I'm going to turn the radius up to about uh, well well 73.3 my favorite number and then I'm going to also click on decontaminate colors and bring that up to about 90 percent now I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to the white view because it's a little easier to see what I'm doing and I just selected the first tool right next to where it says edge detection and you see what's happening? It's getting rid of that black edge around the hair now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and click on... Well, before I click OK, I'm going to go up here to Smooth and just bring it up to about uh, 14. And that's going to smooth out my edge a little. Perfect! Alright, now I'm going to click on add a new layer there's my new layer and I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, the um, color picker tool I'm gonna grab the color from her lipstick and then click on the curved arrows here so it's set as a background and now I'm gonna go ahead and click control delete for PC or command delete for Mac and it fills the layer with a color okay I just slid the layer down to the bottom All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the color picker tool again. And I'm going to select the color from the top. And now I'm going to turn off the girls layer and select the brush. It's just a regular brush. I want the size about 22 pixels. All right, we want a nice solid brush. And now I'm going to draw my masterpiece. There's no real means to this. Just go crazy! Okay, now I'm going to select filter, blur, and radial blur. And now I'm going to change the blur method from spin to zoom, and the amount's going to be about 82%. I'm going to click on OK. Boom! It's so beautiful! Well, maybe not that great. But we're going to fix that. We're going to go to filter, and radial blur one more time and a little bit better and then I'm going to go filter radial blur once more once you've used radial blur once Photoshop Elements will put it at the top okay I just uh, re uh, clicked on the eyeball again so that you can see the girl and isn't that cool now we're going to select the move tool and I'm just going to reposition her a little and we're going to go to uh, layer layer style, style settings, and I'm going to put a glow on her, an outer glow. I'm going to get rid of this yellow and click on the pink that's on her top. Click on OK. And now look, if I turn the size to 46, it'll bring the opacity down a little. Bring the size up a little bit more and opacity down. OK, that looks good. All 
All right. Now, if you look real close, you can see there's a little bit of harshness around the edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and select the eraser tool. And I'm going to bring the size down to about 33 and the opacity way down to about 11. Okay, now I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to kind of clean up the edge a little bit with the opacity way down the eraser. And there you go. So thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it from Info Puppet.